guys, Carla here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Titan Square Link snow tire chains with cam tighteners on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. So the tire size on our Jeep today is going to be 245, 75, 17. It's kind of hard to see. It's right in here. So if you don't know your tire size, you can definitely take a look at the sidewall of your tire and it should be right on there for you. All right, so these snow tire chains are gonna be a great choice for you if you're not really wanting to go with a chain that's super aggressive that maybe has the ice spikes built in, but you do want something that's gonna perform well in the ice and in the snow. Um, so these are gonna be that, uh, that, that's gonna get you out of those situations. They're gonna perform very, very well. And I really like, I think you're gonna like that they have the included cam tighteners uh, to give you peace of mind that they're gonna be on there very, very securely. So with that said, let's go ahead and show you a couple more details on these. All right, so as we take a closer look right here, you can see the square links in their position in a way where one's laying flat and the other one's not, laying flat and the other one's not. And that's just going to give you more surface area uh, when compared to traditional or other twist link style uh, chains. These are also the square link you can see right here. The edges are perfect for grabbing onto and breaking up that ice or deep snow. These are constructed of a manganese nickel alloy construction so they are very durable and resistant to rust and corrosion and i'll show you these are what we considered a ladder pattern so we have the chains going across this way creating a ladder pattern so that that's going to help you when you're starting and stopping and giving you that extra traction that you do need last thing i want to point out right here are our cams i'm going to undo one here So the way these work, as you can see the distance right here, when you turn it over, it's going to make these two links get closer to each other to create a tighter fit overall. So that's a really good feature about these chains. All right, so here's what you're gonna get in your box. It's gonna be this nice canvas storage bag. Inside you get the two chains. And you're gonna get this tool as well to tighten down your cams. Now, we're gonna have some of the tire sizes printed on the bag. There's not room for all the tire sizes, so just to double check, make sure you go on eTrailer.com and check our fit guide. But other than that, uh, keep in mind that the speed rating is 30 miles per hour, so you wanna keep it slow out there uh, to stay safe. So now let's go ahead and show you how we get them installed. So the first thing we want to do is we want to lay our chains flat on the ground and we want to make sure to stretch them out and get any twists or anything like this out of them. Once we know that they are untwisted, make sure that your these are facing out against the tire, these hooks, and that your cams are on the outside as well. So with that in place, we'll go ahead and grab the center of them and drape them over our tires. Just like that. You want to make sure that you have approximately the same hanging off each side to make the connections a little bit easier. Now we'll go back and make our first connection. All right, so we will grab our hook right here and make a connection. I'm gonna go right in the center, one of the center links just to start and see if we need to make any adjustments, but we can go up to the front and make our connection there. All right, next step, what we're gonna do is pass this hook onto one of these and it's gonna land on pretty much this one right here. And then we twist this back and use this spare one right here to secure it in place. So you can see there's still a lot of play. Let me try doing a different link instead. We may have to go back there and adjust our rear one as well. Oops. All right, we'll use this one. And that's still very loose, so we'll go back there and make the adjustment. 
All right, so I went back there and I actually used the second link over from the close parts of the chain. Um, so what we're doing now is pull back over to the front and see if that made a difference here. We'll use the same one. We'll try to use the second one and secure it. And uh, that did get us tighter here. Um, but this may just be one of those where this uh, is one of the smaller tires that this fits. So we can get the last one on there though. And that way we achieve the best tension possible. Just like that. All right, now to give you an idea of how well these cams work or how they work in general, as you can see, we still have a little bit of play even with the uh, adjustment we did on the connections. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish it off by twisting these cams. What you're gonna do is use the included tool to turn them. Nope, oh, going that, that direction to the right. There's one. And you may not, depending on your application, in this Jeep we do probably want to use all of them. And they're going to get a little bit harder as you go, which is exactly what you want. We'll try this one right here. Perfect. Now they're not going anywhere. Perfect fit. All right, so you're probably thinking you're ready to go and you um, may not need any additional parts. While these are really, really tight on here and we achieved a really good fit, I'm still going to recommend you use some rubber adjusters and I'll tell you why. So not only are they designed to keep everything tensioned properly, but especially when you're going down the road, you want to keep them centered on the tire. And this is why I would say for this application, and any application uh, that doesn't have the uh, tensioners built in, definitely a good idea to get these. So to install them, we're gonna make sure the hooks are on the outside and we're just gonna basically hook them to the links as evenly as we possibly can. And just like that. All right guys, so that just about does it for our look at the Titan Square Link tire chains with cam tighteners on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.